get ready with me to go to a concert. Um, not just any concert. I'm gonna go see The Spill Canvas, which is one of my most favorite bands since I was a, a wee young lass of my um, teenage years. Um, I'm so excited. I'm about to be, I've been filled with angst this whole two, three days <laughs> since I found out about this concert. Um, it's, it's emo, it's gonna be emo, it's gonna be punk, punk rock emo. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait, I am so excited. Um, this is what I'm wearing, um, literally just like a black shirt. I have black jeans on and a flannel because I feel like I could tie it around my waist, feel a little, a little grungy, um, and it might get a little chilly, I don't know. So let me just say that it is a Thursday. I'm going out on a school night. I'm going to start with my hair and I just mapped it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All of this is ha exactly how a 34-year-old plans on going out on a school night <laughs> to a concert, to a to an emo punk concert. So um, I got off work. I got off work early because I worked on Saturday. So I was like, perfect. I want to do this concert on Thursday. Um, so I'll flex my time there. Perfect, perfect. Great, great, great. Um, and I came home, um, oh no, where's all my clips? So, I came home from work, I got off early, and <laughs> started a load of laundry to make my life easier, um, this weekend. Uh, started a load of laundry, and then I made my shopping list and scheduled a curbside pickup for tomorrow after work. Again, just trying to make future me's life easier, especially going to a concert on a Thursday. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow, but um, I was like, I have my meal plan, I know what I wanna do, so I just need to, um, just do a curbside order and I'll pick it up after work tomorrow and then I can come home and relax on Friday. Um, <laughs> which I feel like is the most 30 year old, 30 year something person thing to do is like plan that far ahead um, to make my, I don't know, maybe not. I just think it's funny. And um, I mapped it because it's in Houston. I have to go to Houston for this concert and I have to leave by 5.05 to get there at the time that I want, which is about 7.30ish. Doors open at 7. Um, and concert starts at 8. And I am just so excited. So, 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 so excited. And um, it's pretty funny because... Uh, that's hot on my ear. Pretty funny because I just came back from a work trip on Monday and I was with a colleague and you know you learn a lot about someone in seven hours um, one way so then you feel very comfortable with them going back seven hours so I was like we're friends now like let's we don't have to talk as much let's listen to music what kind of music do you like and it turned into talking about the kind of music we liked growing up this that and I was like oh my gosh I just feel like do you know who the Spill Canvas is? And she was like, no, never heard of them. So I was like, oh boy, can't wait to introduce you to the Spill Canvas. So we listened to the Spill Canvas almost the whole way home. And I got to like il illuminate her. Ow, keep touching it. About like, where am I? It's hard to do this in the camera. Um, you know, like, oh, you know, I was this old when I learned about them, and now it's been like 25 years, I think. No, that's too long. 15 or 16. Okay. Do the math. I think this is like 15 or 16 years, maybe 17 years. I don't know what, why the top of my hair is not crimping, but that's okay. Um. Anyway, I was a child 
when I started listening to them, and I have grown up. And I feel like their music has grown up as they've continued to make music. It's still angsty, but like, more informed angst, <laughs> if that makes sense. I mean, if you remember like, Dashboard back in the day, and the I don't know, I just feel like it's grown up angst now as they've written more music. I think the, the their most new, newest album came out in 2021, but this is their No Really I'm Fine tour. So for an album that came out, I wanna say in like 2012 or something like that. Possibly, I don't know. I actually don't know that, that much about them. Anyways, talked about them the whole ride home. Thought it was fun reliving my angsty teenage years and talking about what made us angsty. Um, spoiler alert, nothing was ever worth the angst. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've learned. Um, and then I was just scrolling on TikTok the next morning, so Tuesday, and um, this Bill Candace had posted to their account, you know, so excited the Austin tour starts tomorrow. And I was like, ugh. I probably missed it. You know what I mean? Like, you, the algorithm doesn't show you anything on time. So I literally was like, dang, I wonder when that happened. I wonder when this was. So I went to the link in bio and the Austin tour hadn't even started. Like, it was like the next day. And not only was it Austin, but it was Houston and San Antonio. So I had three chances to get tickets. So I chose Houston because it was closest, not closest, I feel like um, Houston and um, Austin are pretty equidistant in the grand scheme of things. Um, so the Houston date just made a little bit more sense. I can go out on a Thursday night, but going out on a Wednesday would have been rough. I had a big day today, just lots to do. And the San Antonio one, I think, was on Sunday, which could have been cool, except San Antonio's far. Like, that's a far drive for me. So I was like, Houston it is. And so I am just so excited. I cannot wait. I've literally been thinking about it since Tuesday, since I bought my tickets. Also, tickets were, like, so cheap. Um, I'm almost hoping that it's not a big turnout as much as I love them. Um, I just hope it's, like, intimate, right? Like, oh, my gosh. There's no one here. It's just me. I love you. Can I have your set list and be like a straight groupie? That would be so fun. Um, I don't foresee that happening. I'm sure there's going to be a very good turnout. Um, nostalgia is running rampant for millennials. So like why if, if you knew that they were going to be there? I betcha. I betcha. It's going to be a good turnout. So anyways, um, I'm just so excited. I just can't wait. Um, for my look, I'm kind of scared because I don't have a really good track record for coming home and washing my face after wearing makeup all day and then putting more makeup on. So we're going to see how this goes. Usually my eyes get really watery and I can't keep any liner on or anything. So we're going to play it by ear. I also kind of feel like I want to wear contacts just so you can see my makeup better, but also when I get tired and have to drive and my eye uh, contacts are gonna get sticky. Again, 30 something year old problems, right? Having to plan around their dry eyes. What is the last concert you went to, the last show you went to, who was it? How was it? Was it amazing? Was it everything you wanted and more? I want to hear. I miss live music. Um, it's been a long time since I've been to a show of any sort. Um, this bottom one just did not crimp very well, did it? It's okay. Um, I went to, I think the last like show I went to, I think the last show I went to, was at in downtown Bryan and it was like a local band they were really good actually they were called N Kitsch Kitsch 979 or something like that um a bunch of kids 
bunch of kids and they were really good and I actually would like love to see them again. They've played a couple of times since and I just haven't had, it's almost, it is tr truly always on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday, which I'm all about, except for they don't start until nine o'clock and I'm like, I'm tired. <laughs> I go to bed at 10. I cannot come to your 9 p.m. show where, like, that's when the, the starter band starts. What is that called? Opener. Your opening act. If you started at 9, well, I would stay until 10. <laughs> and maybe a little late for bed, but I don't know. Um, also, I am going by myself uh, because I have no friends out here. <laughs> um, but I thought about inviting the gal that um, drove home with me and I introduced her to it, but um, there's a couple of reasons why I did not, and not for any uh, reasons of malice. It was mostly just kind of like, A, I just introduced her to them and I made her listen to it all the way home. We listened to Spill Canvas, uh, not all seven hours, but for many hours we listened to Spill Canvas. Um, <laughs> and I got kind of like caught up in my head and was just like, uh, she probably doesn't want to listen to them anymore. She's not an actual fan. She was just being nice and listening to them because I wanted to, which is fine. Um, and also I just like, I kind of want to go alone. I kind of want to experience this by myself. If Anthony was here, it would be a new bra no brainer. Of course he would go with me, but he's not here. It's just me. And yeah, I just thought it would be easier to go alone. And because it is in Houston, I just, I don't know. That's the hard, hard thing about being alone sometimes is knowing, <sighs> it's just easier to plan around yourself, right? Like I didn't necessarily want to be like, here's the deal, here's the plan, I wanna leave at XYZ time to get there at this time. Like, I don't know. If it was like one of my best friends that I've known for years, like maybe, but I just don't feel like, I don't know. I'm not confident enough to be like dictating that kind of stuff. Maybe it's because I have it flipped this way. Cause I feel like this side isn't cribbing well either. Um, I'm just trying to vary it. So it's, anyway, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I did not invite her. Um, and I wonder if I should have, I don't even know if she knows. It's not like I was like, oh my gosh, this Phil Canvas is playing. Can't wait to go. I'm not inviting you. I didn't mention it to her at all. Um, and if she took it upon herself to look up the band and look at their tour dates, like that's, you know, good for her. Then maybe she does like them, but she didn't say anything to me. I didn't say anything to her. Um, and it's just kind of something ultimately that I wanted to do by myself, um, and have a little date night with me. But, but then I, of course, go back and forth and think, you know, was I, am I being, not selfish for wanting to go by myself, but what's the word? Am I being isolating by not inviting her? Um, should I have given her that opportunity to say yes or no if I didn't care either way? I don't know. It's hard sometimes. It's hard making friends as an adult. It's hard navigating these waters when you're used to being alone. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, regardless, I am so excited. I think, like, a lot of the bands I do like now, and I mean, I still like this Bill Canvas, obviously, um, are still touring and making music, and there's some bands that I would absolutely love to see. Like, I think Bruno Mars would put on a great concert great show. Um, I've seen the Backstreet Boys and they were fan fantastic. Um, I saw the Foo Fighters. That was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. Actually, I would say like top, top two concerts I've ever been to. First one was Foo Fighters. It was amazing. Truly kind of like a bucket list thing where I was like, if I never see another concert again, that's okay because I saw the Foo Fighters. Excuse me. Um, and then like right after that would be Florence and the Machine because that was also another absolutely amazing show. Um, not necessarily bucket list show, but you know, I was happy that I got to see her live and in the flesh. Um, <laughs> maybe, 
Maybe my hair will just look lived in. <laughs> Cause it's not really working, not really looking the way that I want it to, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I thought about doing it this morning and just getting it out of the way and like maybe touching it up or whatever, but I did not. I just blow dried it this morning. Um, and that's, and this is where we are. This is where we are. Um, but yeah, Florence the Machine, top two. I mean, I've seen Sarah Bareilles. I saw John Legend. Um, I've seen Peter Frampton, B.B. King. Who else have I seen? Rascal Flatts like a million times. I saw Taylor Swift open for Rascal Flatts back in the day. I want to say it was like 2007 or 2009. I cannot remember which. Um, it's whenever Picture to Burn came out, which I think might be from her first or second album. I can't remember. I just remember that number. She's a very good performer, even back in the day. Um, I see my good friends Poe the Passenger all the time. They're a band, if you don't already know them, would recommend. Check them out. Um, I met them in LA, and I would consider them pretty good friends of mine and I mean that actually sincerely like they're like my buddies and I think they're pretty much the coolest people I'm, I've known in a long time because they're in a band and they're doing so well um so would recommend Poe the Passenger um I remember back 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 in the day I saw Fall Out Boy and Fall Out Boy is going to be in Houston like, I can't remember if it was like in the summer or after, but I got a, an email from like Ticketmaster, which I don't know if I trust them anyways, but saying like Fall Out Boy was gonna be playing in the Woodlands. And I went through and I was like, what does two tickets look like? It was like $300 for two tickets. Um, and not all of it was like the actual ticket. It was like the, um, the processing fees and everything, and I know this is not a new complaint. I know a lot of people complain about this, but I'm just like, geez, man, like, I I, I don't mind paying $100 for tickets, but then having an extra $100 of fees on top, that is basically what it is, because it was $99 per ticket, and then when I went to check out, it was like 303 and I was like, mm, I don't know why, but that math does not math. <laughs> 99 plus 99, it's like 200, right? Like 99 is 100, 100 plus 100 is $200. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if I'll go to that. Um, if I do, it would absolutely be cheap seats, bl bloody nose seat section. Oh, it's so hot close to my head. Um, which would still be totally worth it. I love Fall Out Boy. That would be great. I saw Third Eye Blind and Jimmy Eat World. They were really cool. Uh, a lot of those I saw at the Greek Theater in LA. Um, almost everyone that I named for the most part. Um, Foo Fighters were at the Forum, but Sarah Bareilles, John Legend, Florence and the Machine, Jimmy Eat World and Third Eye Blind, Peter Frampton, B.B. King. All of that happened at the Greek Theater. I guess I have a favorite venue. I didn't even realize it. Um, I love music. Music is very important and very, it can really kind of like shape who you are. And I think music is important. <laughs> very eloquent, Jillian. Ah! Um, you know, I think it's even cooler like when you've grown up with a musician or a band and their music grow you grow with the music and like you never grow out of them they're always relevant that's kind of how I feel about the spill canvas like when I was 17 what is it um Lester Prima Vista I'm trying to think it. the moment I saw you I despised you like that's the opening line like <laughs> a how great <laughs> from the moment I saw you I knew I despised you like okay <laughs> um but their one song now, one of their newer ones, and by newer, I mean like within the past decade and not 20, 2002, um, it says, life is way too short 
to get caught up in all this stuff when I just want you to love me back. <laughs> like, right? Oh my gosh, like that's just A, poetry. <laughs> that is just poetry. And I feel like a very specific um, kind of person would relate, not even specific, no, a whole generation of people would, would resonate with that. Um, it's very apt for 2023, even though it came out many years ago. But like, yeah, that first one was, uh, I mean, fate is an elegant, cold-hearted whore. She loves salting my wounds. Yes, she adores nothing more. Um, <laughs> that's one of their songs. Um, it's petty and angsty. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> when you were 17, though, that's like, ooh, burn. Like, I got you. Fate is an Elliot cold-hearted whore, and your fate. <laughs> Whatever. I don't even know. But that's what I mean. For it to grow up and then talk about life is too short for way all the too, uh, way too short to get caught up and all this stuff. The other one, I can't remember it. Reckless Abandonment. Um, kiss the one you love with reckless abandonment. Yes, please. <laughs> don't have to ask me twice. So, I don't know. Again, it's music is, music is fun. Music is everything. Music plays a big role in my life. Um, I love a good soundtrack to my life. Um, which funnily enough is a playlist on my Spotify of truly just show tunes, soundtracks of my life. Um, and it's just music from movies that I feel like I love so much and have amazing soundtracks, including Phil Collins' uh, Tarzan. You can't tell me there's a better soundtrack out there because it's there's not. <laughs> that one is it. Um, but yeah, show tunes from musicals and stuff like that, so. Um, well, that's the hair. I also might, um, do some space buns with them and, and, like, try to make it a little cuter, but that's, that's the hair thus far. It's funny, because I'm looking at my little timer right now, and that took me 20 minutes, and I would say that it takes me 12 minutes to curl my hair, and I don't even think this turned out that great, so... 20 minutes well spent, we are, we're, gonna, we're gonna find out. So, let's get into the makeup. Get you a little bit closer, whoop. And, um, again, I saw, you saw what I was wearing, which is cute. Um, pretty basic. I kind of feel like I wanna go neutral. Um, well, I wanna pull out my Melt Gemini palette. But I'm also looking and just trying to also see what I have not used. <gasps> you know, I've not used the Hocus Pocus palette in a hot minute. And I do love the two greens in here. These two. Similar vibes as Melt Gemini. But this one's also right here. So I'm just going to use that one. Um, and I'm actually just going to zip through the makeup portion. Chit chatty part was all through the hair. And now we're just going to uh, sit and do our makeup and um, just continue to be excited for the show that is ahead. So uh, please enjoy and I will check in at the very end for the lips because depending on what I do, um, I, I either wanna go bold with a red uh, or go like grungy, neutral, 90s nude kind of thing. So we shall see and I'll check back within you once everything is done. So enjoy.
that is the look. I think here. I'm just gonna leave it down. I'm just gonna leave it down. I think it looks fine just like that. I'll add some texture spray for the lips though. I'm actually gonna blend these two together. I'm not gonna do red. I still might throw contacts on, but I just feel like red will be too Christmassy with this with the green. So we're gonna go nude. I'm gonna start with this one. This is the NYX Laundry Push-Up. This one is the shade Push-Up, and this is the shade Corset. Corset is one of my favorites, but it's a little too neutral, or I mean, sorry, too cool toned. And by adding this one, it makes it a little bit more neutral. Best of both worlds. A little custom. And that's it. That is my concert look. Um, let me throw my flannel on. How do I look? I'm so excited. I cannot wait to go see this band. I'm gonna have the time of my life. But here's the look. Um, I hope you liked it. I, I would love for you to tell me some of your favorite bands, some of the favorite concerts that you've been to, anything you're looking forward to. Um, and until then, I will see you in the next one.